Welcome to my channel. My name is Olivia. I have a quick unboxing I want to share with you today. But before we do that, I would just like to invite you guys to subscribe to my channel. I make videos on anything and everything, luxury designer bags. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, hit that bell. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get to this unboxing. This bag actually came from Arizona. Delivered like overnight. I live in San Diego, so it's a very fast delivery. So here we go. Can you guys see what it is? So it comes inside the real real dust bag. The posting on it did show that. Um, it also comes with a dust bag. I'm assuming it's supposed to be the Louis Vuitton dust bag, so hopefully it's inside the bag. But here we go. OMG. Ta-da! Oh my gosh! Okay, you guys, this is the black multicolor. It is um, from the Takashi Murakami collection. I think that's how you pronounce it. It, um, this bag was from the 2007 line and it looks to be in real, in, it looks to be in de decent condition. The pictures I saw on the website didn't really show the um, amount of like dirt on the Vichetta and um, I mean it looked pretty clear you know on the website but um, I am glad that the back side doesn't have like um, the well actually I do see a little bit of damage from the canvas but anyways you guys look at how cute this bag is I am obsessed with this bag it is so beautiful it even looks more beautiful on camera to be honest with you um it has more dirt on the vichetta than i expected um i did try to zoom in and review the pictures um as best i can but seeing it in person i can see you know more wear on the vichetta than than what i expected but the canvas looks beautiful there's some wear and scuffs and scratches on the hardware which is a pretty normal wear and tear for this particular bag the listing did not show the color or did not show the bottom of the bag and i actually think that this colorway is beautiful you have the bluish purple the green and the, like the mustard yellow or green color here and the back of the bag looks like this it is so beautiful i love the pop of color i know it's not everybody's cup of tea i know not everybody loves this bag some people may think it's tacky but i love this i mean this has been on my wish list for the longest time and I was debating between this and this Speedy, but the Speedy just looked way too bulky for me. This is the Truville bag, and oh my god, I love it so much. It's so pretty, but again, there's more dirt and wear on the Vichetta than I expected. So, you know, it's, um, it's a little surprising there, but... The inside of the bag, it has this um, zippered compartment, main compartment here. There's two like zipper pulls. And so if we open this up. The inside does have the Louis Vuitton dust bag right here. And the inside 
is pretty clean. It has like this microfiber suede type of material and it has one big um, side pocket here and a smaller one right here and there's no compartments on the other side and the front has this front compartment right here. So there really isn't much to this bag as far as logistics go, but yeah, I mean, it is so pretty. You guys, what do you think? I love the colorway. Pink is one of my favorite colors. I love how the pink is right there. It has this bright little pink star right there. It's so beautiful. And I absolutely love it. Here's the side of the bag. Here's the other side. So one side would have the um, LV facing right side up and then the other side would have the LV upside down like that. That's just how they designed this bag. Um, it has these gold little spike looking things right here. And the hardware is in all gold. The zipper pull has Louis Vuitton engraved right there. And it is a great size. I plan on maybe um, putting a strap on this bag, but yeah, there's a lot of like wear on the machetta that was not captured in the pictures. So, I mean, you know, we'll see. Um, the real real is final sale, but if you discover things, I've never actually purchased a bag from the real real, but um, a good friend of mine has and she said that if there's anything that they missed in the description um, You may be able to ask for a refund So I'm gonna thoroughly inspect this bag after I film and decide if I want to keep it But I absolutely love this bag. I have been wanting this bag for a long time. I know I need to have this in my collection. So if this is not the bag that I end up with, I'm gonna add one because just, just having this, like holding this bag in my hands, I just, I just don't wanna let go of it. So um, if I have to return this, I'm gonna be really, really sad. Um, but again, I don't want to I just don't want to keep something if I'm not fully happy with it and just like after just looking at it, it just has so much dirt on the vachetta. There's watermarks um, in places that they didn't get to take pictures of and also just like the back side of the handle, like the handle just is dirtier than what they, you know, showed in the pictures. So look at that right there and then this side. I mean, if I can, I'll do like a side by side on what they, um, what they posted on the website versus what actually, what this bag looks like. So um, I think everybody would agree with me that they didn't really do a good job capturing all of the, like the dirt and stuff on the handles and also on this leather trim right here in the front it is actually pretty worn and like dirty looking so but i love the colorway i really really love the colorway and the canvas um still has that very vibrant pop of color it, the color hasn't faded which is what i love and to be honest you guys um you can always replace the leather from louis vuitton i don't know if they will replace it with these special edition bags so i'm going to reach out to their customer service to see if that's something that they'll do and get a quote for it and I'll do a follow-up video for you guys. If they do that and if it's not 
too expensive, it's pretty reasonable, maybe I'll just end up keeping this and getting it replaced. We'll see. Definitely a little disappointed that the condition didn't really reflect what they posted on their website, but I'm gonna just think about it longer to see if it's something that I can deal with or if I should return. But again, I really don't want to because it's so pretty. It is so pretty. I really don't want to have to return this, but I'll let you guys know. So make sure you stay tuned because I'll do a follow-up video. I'm really gonna do my best to do follow-up videos because I'm not the best at like doing that. So I'll make sure to, you know, update you guys. So let me show you guys quick mod shots of this bag. I am five foot two, and this is how the bag would look on my frame. You can wear this on the crook of your arm like this, or you can wear it as a top handle. Those are really the only two options um, for this bag, the way it comes. You can attach a strap on these little handles right here and wear it as a shoulder bag. I will need to take a look at the different straps that I have to see what would look good with this bag. But just as it comes, you can just wear it as a top handle or on the crook of your arm. So it is way too small to wear like on your shoulder. But yeah. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, join my family. I would love to have you. If you guys have any comments or any questions for me, leave them down in the comment section below. As always, I hope you have a blessed day. I hope you have a fabulous day, and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.